I use the Ambit pump when I do continuous regional anesthesia blocks. I like it because it's a lightweight pump, easy for the patient to transport, it's very easy for me to program and adjust as necessary, and it's easy for the patient to administer their own bolus dosing if they have increased pain. I think the goal for any surgeon when uh, they are preparing a patient for surgery is to get them through whatever procedure with as little pain as possible. The ambient pump was the most comforting thing I've ever had after an operation because there was no pain. After the surgery, um, there was absolutely no pain. I mean, I, I was very comfortable. I, I slept. I, I, uh, there, there just wasn't any pain. I start running the continuous infusion in the operating room at the conclusion of the case, so patients are waking up comfortable with infusion therapy already begun. Often, patients are able to return home the day of surgery or soon after due, at least in part, to the level of comfort they are receiving from the continuous block running through the ambit pump. I think that every surgeon would love to perform surgery and not have the patient hurt. You know, when patients are hurting, uh, their recovery time is slowed. Um, if you're having to give someone a lot of IV narcotics, then you're having to deal with the secondary effects of the IV or oral pain medications. When I went home, I just remember being able to be myself and not druggy, drug feeling, um, being with my family, going to the dinner table and eating. Um, that, that was very important to me. The surgical procedure I had uh, was uh, I had breast stage one breast cancer and they did a lumpectomy on me. I recently had a double mastectomy and um, immediate reconstruction started after that. I had a ventral hernia repair twice and when it split back open so I had a Reva stop procedure with um, my muscles placated. I had a double mastectomy that takes your whole front off, as you well know. And I felt no pain. Regional anesthesia pain blocks using continuous infusions offer patients the benefit of regional anesthesia for a prolonged period of time, up to a number of days. This is where you can really see the benefit of using an infusion pump. In my practice, I use the Ambit pump to run continuous infusions for paravertebral blocks, which I do for breast cancer surgeries with immediate reconstructions. I also use the Ambit pump for abdominal incisions with the transversus abdominis plane block, or TAP block. For large laparotomy incisions, the TAP block has given my patients exceptional post-op pain management during their time in the hospital, as well as when they go home. Dr. Manili moved to Lubbock, I think, a couple of years ago now. And um, I have been working with him since. Um, whenever I can, I try and get him uh, to do uh, anesthesia for my patients uh, because of his tremendous expertise with regional blocks. He has an, a, a really um, a very comprehensive uh, understanding of anatomy, and um, he has very good ultrasound skills. And so he uh, can put in these regional blocks that the uh, paravertebrals and the uh, tap blocks, the catheters, uh, really very quickly, very precisely. Regional anesthesia offers the benefit of decreasing the amount of narcotics that a patient will use, as well as providing improved post-operative pain management above and beyond what narcotics alone can offer. Being a nurse myself, I've seen other patients when they've come back from a surgery and how much pain that they're in. And I feel like having uh, something like the Ambit pump instead of just having to give them narcotics, uh, you know, every four hours or whatever, that that uh, could contribute to their recovery faster. It's, you know, really just a sensory nerve block. So it's not really affecting the patient's mental status. Um, it's not acting like narcotics do, um, you know, slowing down, you know, GI tract function, you know, making the patient sleepy all the time. The patient can be alert, you know, walking early, um, up and about, which is what we want our surgery patients to be doing, uh, you know, and experiencing minimal pain.
During the whole time I was in the hospital, I honestly I could not even believe I went through this surgery. It just seemed like a breeze because I was in no pain to speak of. Um, it just, it really totally amazed me that I could go home. If they know that they're getting really great relief, you know, with the, with the regional block and, the, and they have the ambit, you know, infusion pump, and they know they can take that home with them, they are, you know, I, I get no pushback when they're like, oh, I'm ready to go then. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's all okay. I, I'm, I'm going to be all right. When I first started at this facility, I was using an elastomeric pump for my procedures because that's all that was available to me. During that time, there were numerous occurrences of elastomeric pumps emptying out 12 to 18 hours earlier than they should have. This meant that patients were first receiving higher doses of medication than I had prescribed, which brings up concerns of toxicity. They were then left with no medication at all to control their pain. When these patients went home, they had to rely solely on oral pain medication, which can leave them with periods of insufficient pain control. With the elastomeric pump, you know, I, I felt it was, it was really, a, I just didn't feel that we had the control of the volume of the local anesthetic. And then, you know, sometimes it was hard for me to tell if it was empty or not. And then, of course, you can't refill it or you can't put another bag. My experience has showed me that the elastomeric pumps are not always reliable and are not sufficient in providing my patients with the high standard of pain control and comfort during recovery that I aim for in my practice. I was discussing the problems that elastomeric pumps were giving me with one of my colleagues who then recommended the electronic AMBIT pump. When I was first introduced to the AMBIT pump, I was immediately impressed with its small size and the accuracy which I was not getting with the elastomeric pumps. Since using the AMBIT pump, my patients have had outstanding and long-lasting pain relief as I have run infusions for three, four, and as long as five days of uninterrupted post-op therapy. I only have to change the medication bag, which is easy with the AMBIT pump. The AMBIT pump is very easy to use for myself in setting up and programming it, for the pharmacy staff and the nursing staff, as well as for the patients. I've had great success with incorporating the AMBIT pump into my practice. It has always infused the amount of medication and run for the amount of time that I've prescribed. Honestly, I didn't know about the AMBIT infusion pump, but Dr. Manili uh, researched everything and said this was the best pump. And I said, fine. I mean, you know, because I just want it to work and it works very well. I know it's, it's got to save money because, you know, patients are getting uh, up and at them. They're going home sooner. Uh, they're happier, and we all want our, our patients to be happy. As an RN dealing with patients that have had abdominal surgeries, I've dealt with them right after surgery, recovering them all the way to going home. And I feel that if they, had, if they would have had the ambient pump, their pain would have been controlled better. I would recommend this to anybody having abdominal surgery. Um, it controls the pain so well, and can allow you to do more after surgery. I mean, you're not really confined to the bed. You're up walking around, you're up doing most of the stuff that you were doing right before surgery. I feel like the Ambit Pump uh, helped with my recovery time, emotionally and mentally and physically because I was really dreading the surgery. I mean, I didn't want to have breast cancer and I didn't, and I really was not looking forward to having the surgery at all, so it, it helped ease that part up. I can't tell you what it feels like to be told that you have cancer. It's a terrible shock to, the word cancer brings immediate fear and you can't help but be very affected by it. When they told me I did have the breast cancer, you know, it's, it's, it is emotional, right? It is, you know, you, all of these different things and you're scared and you don't know what to think. So the fact that we can eliminate what is a generally big fear for anybody having surgery, that is having a lot of pain after surgery, um, that is a huge relief for cancer patients. When you have cancer, that's bad enough. But to have all that pain would really make it so much worse. I'm so thankful that I didn't have to have both. The way they, they did the pump on me, it just, it took all, all the pain away. When I left the hospital, I wasn't in any pain. 
I went home from the hospital, no pain. That night, no pain. The next day, no pain. The faster we can get them over their procedure, then the faster they can move on to the next component of the next you know, phase of their therapy. Now, surgeons will appreciate this. Um, you know, our, our more mature women that are having surgery. Well, you know, they never like to, you know, to be seen with their hair fixed, their makeup on, and all that. After the first uh, paravertebral uh, patient, you know, paravertebral catheter placement was a mastectomy with, you know, the rapid fill of the expanders, and I expected her to be miserable when I, because that's how they had always been, you know. And I came in the next morning, and, you know, she's sitting up with her beautiful, you know, silk pajamas on and her makeup and everything done. And I, I literally did a double take and stepped back to see if I was in the correct patient's room. I mean, it was that much of a difference. And so, you know, she was obviously mentally feeling much better. She was, of course, a lot more alert because she hadn't, you know, used much narcotics at all. But she was feeling really good. And it's, you know, if you can control that pain, if they never have the pain, you know, because they're expecting, you know, something bad. And when it isn't, they're, so, they're just so pleasantly surprised and thrilled that it, you know, it just makes it so much better on every level for them. I've been told that the operation I had, in fact, my doctor told me that I should have been in pain for a month or even several weeks after that because of what was done. And I had no pain. I, it, it's amazing. My friends who have had a similar operation had just cannot believe that I recovered. I should have been hurting for weeks and weeks. I have had numerous patients who have had a procedure done in the past without a continuous regional block. Then with me, going through a similar surgery, but this time with a continuous regional block using the ambit pump. These same patients have described to me a huge difference in their comfort pain control and overall recovery when comparing their past experience to this time with the ambit pump. Most of them have stated that they would never undergo another surgery without the ambit pump for their post-operative pain management. And I believe 1998 my lung did collapse. They had to go in there and do surgery. That surgery was the hardest surgery I've ever had. It was just the pain on it, it just went on and on and on comparing the two surgeries. Uh, the, the, the breast surgery was a breeze. Comparing the recovery period from my first surgery to the second surgery with the ambient pump, it was the difference between night and day. I just felt the normal soreness that you would have with any abdominal surgery and had less intense pain. If I had to go through another surgery, I would use the ambient pump again. If I ever have another operation, I hope it's in a place they can use the ambient pump for. In fact, I will insist upon it because it's a completely different thing than what I've gone through in the past. I would absolutely recommend the Ambit infusion pump. As a matter of fact, if I ever have to have surgery, I'm not going to sleep until I am sure I have an Ambit infu infusion pump and, uh, you know, uh, regional catheter placement if it's appropriate. I would highly recommend anybody that was going to have surgery to try this Ambit pump. If I had to come back in and have surgery, I certainly want to be one on the list for it. Having the AMIT pump really helped my uh, recovery time. And I'm so glad we done that. With the AMIT pump, I still, I, I'm still amazed. I can't help it. I'm, I'm just utterly amazed that they can do that and you don't have pain. It's wonderful. Without question, the AMBIT, the uh, regional blocks AMBIT infusion pump combo has greatly improved my practice. And uh, although it has made me more of an annoyance among the anesthesiologists because I want, uh, you know, a paravertebral, I want paravertebral catheter placements on all my mastectomy patients. I want, um, you know, tap blocks on all of my abdominal uh, cases. And the problem is, you know, there's only one Dr. Manili. The Ambit Infusion Pump has definitely contributed to the success of my practice as I measure my success by the satisfaction my patients feel about the quality of care they receive.